What's good? What's good? I know the audio on these videos kind of sucks. I'm trying to figure out a solution. Maybe I buy like a cheap laptop or something because my current laptop absolutely sucks. Like it has to be plugged in and it's slow, it's old, whatever. Um, if you want to donate, help me out. Today's video was inspired by, I mentioned in yesterday's video, how I had this Facebook back and forth with someone about UBI and how I had said that I liked the idea minus the fact that it requires theft because I don't like theft. And so the title of this video, Anarchists Do Not Claim to Have All the Answers. No, not at all. And that's, that's a huge thing that I wish more people who opposed anarchy or more people who are afraid of it would consider. We're not out there saying we have all the answers. Not at all. What we are saying is that the use of force, the initiation of the use of force, the monopolization of the initiation of the use of force is wrong. Foundationally, it is wrong. Therefore, any system, any government, anything that tries to monopolize the initiation of the use of force is immoral. Universal basic income in its current modeled formula requires the use of force. It requires a centralized agency, a government, to steal money from people to then redistribute it. That is not an exaggeration. That is not a mischaracterization. That is what it requires. In this, in this back and forth I had with this individual, which I wish people would want to have these conversations like in real time, because uh, I can't close my phone to pull it up to read it, but he had said something very, very disturbing to me. And after the fact, I learned he's one of those crazy leftists. For example, he thinks that if you say someone is a man that identifies as a woman, that is transphobic language. Biological reality is now transphobic. But that's not what disturbed me as much. This person said that UBI, taxation, theft, can be framed in a way where it is not theft. He said that he personally does not feel like his tax dollars are stolen from him and that the framing of these programs can change the meaning and definition. So what he had said was people need psychologically compelled, he used the word compelled, to see these programs as beneficial and positive and not as theft. So that's psychological grape. He thinks like psychological compelling. That's scary. That's like, um, that's struggle sessions. And that's, um, what else? Re Reeducation. He's advocating for reeducation unironically. That's why leftists are scary. Just because he is okay with paying taxes, that's fine. And that's what the beauty of anarchy is. He can pay as much as he wants into his community. Nothing is stopping him from paying as much as he wants to his community. Gosh, I'm going to do another video, I think. I'm going to title it, It is Easy to Give Away Other People's Money. Because it is. It's so easy to give away other people's money. And in my last video, I think I had said how anarchists are often more compassionate, selfless, kind, loving. That's true. And then these champagne socialists are fake ass virtue signaling bitches. They just want to steal other people's money and feel good about giving it away. And they don't even see how fucking maniacal that is. 
I want to end the video putting forward my own version of universal basic income that could potentially, it, it's, this is the thing with anarchism. We don't have the answers, but we're open to so many different solutions as long as they do not require force. So my version of universal basic income that I thought was kind of cool, it's a, it's a community level program, voluntary, entirely voluntary. And in my, my conception, it requires an initial investment from the community leaders who want to invest in the program. And so after the initial investment, you have an allotment of capital. Members of the community can then sign up to withdraw a certain amount of capital to help for whatever reason. It's not an unlimited thing, it's not continuous, but it's a way to just kind of give people access to funds in an emergency to maybe help them out. But here's where it's, it's potentially continuous in that people can pay into this system. So let's say you're doing okay right now, but you decide, hey, I wanna pay $250 into this system for every month for a year. So you're putting in, what is that, like three grand or something like that? So you've got three grand into the system and oh shoot, an emergency happens. And you need to withdraw from that. It's almost like a bank account, but not. It's a community bank account of voluntary actors. And so there's an initial set limit within the community that people can withdraw, and that's kind of based on what the initial investment is. But this way it will never run out because there is a zero point. And if you hit the zero point, your community has failed somehow. Somebody was taking too much, somebody wasn't giving enough. But the thing is, this is all voluntary. So if it fails, so what? Everybody voluntarily participated in this program, in this attempt to try and improve their communities. So failure isn't the end of the world. It just means, okay, we might need to tweak it. We might need to try something different. We might need to scrap the idea entirely. But it's voluntary. And I do believe that we could construct programs, voluntary programs that could help people. But then I'm not even getting into like the reason people need help is because of the fucking state. So that's like, that's, that's all I, I do many videos on that, but this is, this video is more about trying to reinforce this notion that anarchists, we don't have all the ideas. We just have a moral foundation that says violence, force, aggression is not a, 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 a tactic that should be used. That's our moral foundation. I mean, what is so controversial about that? Oh, okay, I think I'll wrap it up there. Um, God, I wish these people would have actual conversations, like instead of Facebook back and forths. Anyways, much love.